Hello, it's Andy and Llewellyn doing our sixth video on ISO 31000 for the IIRSM Wales branch. Now, I've been talking about principles lately. There's eight principles according to ISO uh, 31000, and we've done um, we've done integrated, we've done structured and comprehensive, and now we're on to customized. So. Risk management, this principle, it's basically telling us that it must be uh, customised. And what do we mean by, what, what is getting customised? So the, the framework must be customised, customised, and actually the risk management process itself. So 31,000 sort of shows us what I call the big three. We've got the principles at the top, then we've got the framework, then we've got the risk management process. It's probably the, the risk management process that we're most uh, familiar with. Uh, most health and safety people will think about risk assessment and sort of leave it there. They don't sort of um, enlarge that consideration to risk management, and which is why I find the risk management process from 31,000 so important. We've got a scope, context and criteria. Then we've got identification, analysis and evaluation. Underneath that, we've got treatment. On the side, we've got, we've got communication and consultation. At the bottom, we've got recording and reporting. And then on the other side, we've got uh, review, monitoring and review. So when we talk about customising, we're talking about customising the risk management process, but also customising the risk management framework. So the framework is basically the architecture, and that's how you've integrated, you've sort of uh, designed, you're evaluating your risk management process through the framework. Uh, so the framework is, is, is important itself. And uh, as this principle says, the framework and the risk management process should be customised. So it's customised and proportionate to the context in which the organisation exists, that's the external and the internal, uh, based on its objectives. So you should customise it. So if I think, oh, this dog, if I think of PCR Global, PCR Global is similar to other, other companies. Um, we are going to have, obviously, our, our own DNA, but we are quite uh, similar. But then we're also specific and we because we're made up you think of the internal context you've got different people you've got different values you've got different vision and all of that is going to uh, impact um, how we run the company but also the whole context our internal external and then our, actually our risk management context and it actually is that risk management context that's going to differ quite a lot i'm obviously quite um um into risk management as 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 it were um, that doesn't mean everybody sits down every day and doing risk uh, exercises, but it does mean that and that is throughout all the individuals. Everybody's got that concept of, um, of risk management and the importance of risk assessment. So that's it. That is principle three, uh, customised. So the risk management process and framework must be customised to the um, internal external context of the organisation relative to its objectives. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay productive. My dog.